Hello, this is me, Giles Wembley Hogg, two M's, two G's, inviting you to get fudged. This is part three of my very much fudge-based fundraising effort that should see every NHS worker given a minimum chunkage of one per head. To raise funds during lockdown, I'm selling off all the travel souvenirs I've collected on what Dad reckons is a record number of gap years. Turns out I've been part of a furlough scheme since 1997. Skillo! We're still all in lockdown in Budley Salterton, or Lovely Salterton, as I tell people it's called, which is probably why so much of my post goes missing. Still, on on. Mum's been very busy. She's made over 700 Shep's pies for all the ladies in her Budley and Bloom group. She's an absolute stickler for social distancing. So what she does is stand at the end of their drives and then slide them up the tarmac with a putter. Doesn't always work. Last Monday, poor old Mrs Figgis got an unexpected mashy foot when she went out to clap for Dominic Cummings. Now, let's talk toot. And I have to say, lots of you have been sending me some absolute thumpers from your own collections. Thank you kindly. Let's have a look at what's come in since I've been on air. Just open up the um, thingy-link. Now, what have we got? Oh, that's very smart. It's, well, according to Henry Martin, who sent this picture, it's a glass cactus lamp. Normally I buy these three things separately, so this must be an absolute lifesaver. Very smart, isn't it? I would think most Mexican homes have three or four of these per room, or should I say room? I sat on a cactus once. It would have helped Dr. Jimenez no end if the spikes had been lit. Right, what else? Ooh! Sent in by Anne Frankenstein, and it's, well, as you can see, it's the Beatles, obviously. I don't know why they even wrote that on the main shell. It's so clear what it is. You know, what with the red hair and no guitars. Like so many things, this came from Turkey. So all that remains is for me to say, Me shell, my shells. Right, time for one more. Oh, hello. Who's this then? Uh, this was sent on Twitter by someone called Joe Fatterini, And this is, according to the bump, a Ratcomb Laditch fridge magnet. Gosh, war criminal fridge magnet, presumably with a 30-day trial included. Bosh! <laughs> My father told me to say that. I'll be honest, I don't get it. Do keep the pics of your best souvenirs coming in. Send them off to fudge at gileswh.com or just ping them at me on Twitter. Now, I've got lots of fun stuff I'm getting shot of, including what I'm wearing on my nethers right this instant. Brace yourselves, it's a sarong. One that I bought in Thailand. And, ah, she's blown open again. Hello. <laughs> that needs a lockdown. It's a bit like a tent, actually. She does have a horrible habit of opening the side flap and showing the backstage workings of the circus, if you know what I mean. Hello. There's the clown car. <laughs> it's actually one of a pair. The sarong. But as the old saying goes, two sarongs don't make a right. <laughs> I, I, I told that to a lot of people in Thailand. and um, In fact, I'm selling my entire sarong collection, apart from the one mum cut up for dusters. I picked up quite a few things in Thailand in the end. Antibiotics got shot of the main ones, but these sarongs are a treat. And to the woman who queued behind me at the post office yesterday, no, it isn't a skirt. It's a cultural artefact, just like the Save the Pound sticker on the back of your Renault Megane. Now these came from Thailand too. Yeah, it's a set of ping pong balls from a uh, show I went to by mistake. Bit of fun, late night, Pat Pong Market. Now, there should be four of them, but one of the set went MIA. That's missing in, um, yeah, I don't think I can actually tell you what the A stands for. Still, this little pill got me right on the bonds. Bop! Wasn't all gravy. In the second half, she had a go with a shuttlecock, but the feathering meant it never got past the orchestra pit. So, I'll sell these to anyone who wants them for ten squids the three. Now, don't forget, you can listen to the rest of my Thailand adventure by clicking on the doodah up in the whatnot. Look, um, I'd better go. Sitting in a wicker chair in a thin sarong will mean you come up a bit ridgy, so on, on. Oh, I've let one rip. Sarong, that is. Bye!